Southern California and yeah. What's up guys? My name is Patrick Blair. Uh, I'm like the old guy in this group. I played here from 2014 to 2018. Uh, I'm back here visiting again because when I was here is when we started the reading challenge and uh, it's a blast to get five years playing in the NFL. Um, yeah, thank you guys for, for joining and participating in the reading challenge. We're going to open up for questions uh, later. I'm Jack Andrews. I play tight end. I'm going to be a junior here and I'm also from the Bay Area. Hi, my name is Jeffrey Johnson. I'm from Los Angeles. I'm a rising senior tight end. Hi, my name is Fran Mendoza. I play quarterback. Ryan, I'm from Miami. My favorite book is Giving Trees. Yeah. How's it going, everybody? My name is Teddy Buchanan. I play linebacker here um, from San Francisco, and we got into you know, you guys. What's up, guys? My name is Katie Uwave. I play linebacker. I'm a sophomore, and I play college in Utah, and I'm excited to do this reading. All right, cool. So we brought you guys out here to introduce a reading challenge to you guys. Um, I'm sure everybody's older. We don't have any elementary kids, do we? Yep. No. Okay. So this is all middle school. So for middle we have school, some elementary. Some elementary. Okay. Well, depending on yeah, your guys' grade, enough. depending on your guys' grade, um, we have a certain amount of books that you guys need to read. Um, around elementary, that's three books. Middle school is four books. And once you guys fill out this reading log that we have here, um, with the books that you guys read. You're able to get two free tickets to our game, our first game here, um, August 31st against Cal, or Cal versus UC Davis. Yeah, if anyone's ever been to a football game here, it's a really good time. So has anyone ever been? You like it? Yeah, okay, good. So we want to get all you guys out here for our game on August 31st against UC Davis to watch all of us play. And uh, like Jane said, all you have to do is read your books, then you have to fill out the title, the author, what was your favorite part? And once you fill all this out, you can have an adult help you, and they can help you turn it in. You can go yourself, and you can bring whoever else you want. So it's a lot of fun. And this is where we play the games. It gets pretty cool and pretty loud. So once you guys play American football. guys like myself and then the bigger dudes they come a little later on in the day but I'll give you a rundown of my schedule so I wake up around 5 5 30 depending on the day um, get here around 6 have myself some breakfast they usually have some breakfast for us upstairs um, once I grab some breakfast I might roll out a little bit get my body warm um, get ready for the day and then we come out here first every day we're on the field first Monday Tuesday and Thursday and Friday we're out here on the field uh, first Wednesday is kind of like our little break day. We might hit like a light lift or a little bit of light conditioning, maybe on the bike or something. Um, but yeah, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday, we come out here first. We'll get a little bit of conditioning in, um, actually a lot of it. Um, and then as soon as that's done, we'll head inside. Um, we got a couple of sections to grab, maybe a snack. We'll show you guys inside the weight room and the snack area. But grab a little snack and then hit the weight room. Yeah. End of the goal line to that end of the goal line. Um, and we'll go through those maybe about five minutes each station. 
then rotate, then have some water on the side, grab a little squirt of water on your way to the next station. And then once you get there all the way to the end on that last station, you come all the way back to this side and you start it all over again. On go. I'm gonna say on your mark, you set, go, okay? On your mark, you set, go. Go, go, get there, get there. Oh, she's one. Oh, oh, she got win. <laughs> she got win. Yeah. Hey. Where it's about 25 days of straight practicing, practicing and being here all day. So we usually get here at 6 a.m. during those days, and uh, we eat breakfast together, and then we have a meeting, like we were in, like you guys are in here. We all sit down right here, and we watch films, or we go over plays, like the name of the show. Next, we'll go through a two-hour practice, which is all this deal, and do what we have to do. We catch, we block, we do competitive drills against each other. They can be fun, and they can be really difficult. <laughs> we do conditioning too, which is the running, and the running you know, stadiums. Uh, and then after that, we have a quick break, we eat lunch, and then we're back here for more meetings. And that's like, cool. yes. Oh, we also have to do, we have to balance school work with that too, and it's not easy. Okay. We got a college like this, you know, a lot of school So, work. what we'll do here is we'll have one of the coaches, you're gonna see in the seat, standing up, and then everybody in the room, you can see this little note, there's notebooks there. Everyone will be writing down their notes little details about each and every play. You, know, you don't you don't gotta write it down, it's all good. <laughs> and so for example, this is one of this is one of our kind of it's one of our play action plays. This is Jack, this is myself, and this is Jaden, the other guy, the running back that was joining us around. Quick question. How would your coach talk to you during this time here? So the coach would do and it, it, it depends what position group, but as quarterback, what we do, we go over kind of our pre-snap process. So we go first over our footwork, progression, and then where our hot routes are, and then protection, because we also got to set the protection. Those are, so those are the big four of our process. We're going to talk about reading again. I know it's fun to see the football stuff, but remember how I promised we're going to bring it all back together, all my reading, football, whatever you want to do in life that kind of comes together. Can I ask a couple questions? Yeah. All right, so if you want to get bigger and stronger, what do you do? Work out. Okay. I, someone say work out? Someone said the gym. The workout, the gym. That's how you that's how your muscles grow. So the thing we don't think about, the muscle in between in between your skull, your brain, the best way to work out the the, the muscles in your brain is through reading. Uh, and then I had someone else ask me about he said something about Tom Brady. So does anybody else know who Tom Brady is? People know the name sounds familiar, he's a, he's a good football player. He's a quarterback. So I got a, I got a story, I got a story about Tom Brady who played for 20 plus years in the NFL, maybe one of the best players of all time. He used to sit, I, I played on the same team with him for a year. He used to sit in this seat, not at in this actual room, but in uh, Tampa Bay. He used to sit in the front seat on the far left. Every team meeting, he had notes out. So he's what 25 years in the NFL, he's taking notes. Why, why is a guy that's played for 25 years in the NFL taking notes? Because he wants to learn more about football. And if you ask Tom, if you talk to him, he's always reading new information. Now he wants to be an entrepreneur, he wants to be into media. And I promise you, he's studying and he is reading a lot. And so I know I keep talking about football players and how much we love to read. Because we want to build that mental muscle the same way we do our weightlifting and build these muscles. We're also trying to build our mental muscle through reading. You, read, you, know, you don't have to just read a book, you can read a magazine, you can go to the newspaper. If you're on Twitter or Instagram or you guys are on TikTok now, maybe follow a couple of accounts that post articles that are interesting and fun and entertaining and just explore these, these things that you're interested in. Because I, I hear people all the time say, I don't like to read, it's too boring. I don't think that's true. Everybody likes to read what they're interested in. So find something you're interested in, build that muscle between you in, in your head, and uh, yeah, because it's if you want to be the best football player of all time, like Tom Brady, you got to study, you got to take notes, you got to listen to your teachers. If you want to be an entrepreneur, if you want to be a soccer player, I was watching a, a documentary yesterday on soccer, a soccer team, and in their room they had all these words up on the board. So yeah, they, they, kick, a, they kick a soccer ball around, but they're reading, they're studying just like Tom Brady, just like these guys. So I want to know who here likes money? Everybody should have their hand raised, right? Everyone's like money, right? See, I love money too, right? And the thing about money is, in order to get money, you gotta be able to read. 
Um, and especially in our field of work, uh, you have to be able to read your contract. So um, reading is very important, man. And I'm, like, I'm, I'm honestly like a lot of you guys. When I first started out reading, when I was around your guys' age, I didn't really like reading. And the way I actually started reading is my mom had forced me to do reading challenges like this. Um, and at first I was like, man, why are you making me do this? Mom, I don't want to read. I don't want to read. Um, but like Pat said, once you find things that you are interested in reading, it becomes a lot easier and more enjoyable. Um, so I encourage you guys to find a book that you enjoy reading um, and take off from there.